Okay, on this one, we've got a copper pipe, okay? Uh, outer diameter of 2.5, inner diameter at 2.3. Uh, it's rigidly attached at C, and it's got a uniform uh, distributed torque on it as shown. And I want to find the stress at point A. So again, to find the stress, it's going to be tau equals TC over J. Okay, and that's going to be what's going on at A. So again, I have to cut it at A to figure out what the torque is at A. So drawing that guy like this, I have just this, and I've got this distributed load like so. And then to balance that, I have to have a torque going in the opposite direction. right? So I've got torque A going in one direction, and I have, that is not the best drawing, but you get the idea. And you have the distributed load of 125 foot-pounds per foot. So that torque has to equal all of that added up there, which is going to be uh, 125 foot-pounds. Whoops. Um, should not be a so that's going to be 125 foot-pounds per foot times one foot, which is going to give me, right, because it's 12 inches of that. So I have ticket times feet. So what that's going to give me is 125 pound feet. However, I want to do everything in inches because both C and J are going to depend on inches, and I want my answer to be in pounds per square inch. So I'm going to take that times 12 inches per foot. And I'm going to get that the torque is going to be 1,500, and that will be pound inches instead. So now I've got everything in pounds and inches. I can come up here, and I can say 1,500 pound inches times C. That's at the outer surface of this guy, uh, which is going to be not 2.5 inches, which is the di diameter, but 1.25 inches, which is the radius. Again, it's distance from the center for C. And then J uh, is going to be the polar moment of inertia of this guy. And it's a tube, so it's going to be outer minus inner. So it's going to be 1.25 to the fourth minus 1.15 to the fourth, right? That's the outer radius and the inner radius that I have shown in there. And from that, I can calculate that the uh, shear stress is going to be 1.72 KSI. So again, on this guy, what I need to do is Again, as with everything, I need to find the torque at the point that I'm interested in. I have to take into account, keeping track of my units, the distributed torque that is going to create the torque at A. Once I have that torque at A, then I just take that times C, which again is the distance from the center, which for this will be the radius since it's on the outside of that. Okay, uh, And then I divide that by the polar moment of inertia, which is, again, for uh, a tube, going to be pi over 2 times the outer radius minus the inner radius.